Hi Tots! Today is the first week of our Easter stories, so shall we have a look and see what is in our story box today? Now what do you shout out when we see the box? Can you say it really loud? That's right, what's in the box? Let's have a look. Well we've got some soap, we've got a picture of an Easter chick, Got another picture of an Easter bunny. Got a picture of some yummy chocolate Easter eggs. And then last we've got a knife and fork and a plate. Well, we know that our story today is about Easter, don't we? But it's not about the Easter chocolate eggs or the Easter bunny. It's about Jesus's last meal with his friends. But why do you think he needs soap? Seems a bit strange, doesn't it? Well, today we're going to start and do our new actions for these stories. So can you do these with me? You're going to get your palm up and you're going to write the letter J and then you're going to put your two hands up celebrating. And then we're going to say, Jesus won. Can you do that with me? Jesus won. Now, can you say it? And then can you shout it out really loud? Jesus won! Well done, Tots. Now let's have a look in our story bag. Now what's the first thing that we always get out of our story bag? That's right, it's the Bible. God's big book of his love for us and his rescue plan. And today's story is about Jesus' last meal with his friends when he did something rather surprising. Jesus was having this meal with his friends and there were 12 of his friends there with him and while they were eating his friends started telling Jesus that they were really worried and asking him about what was going to happen next and then they started to argue all of a sudden Jesus got up and started doing the worst job it was a job that none of his friends wanted to do and usually only a servant did it what do you think he did do you think maybe he was cleaning the toilets or maybe he was washing up? Well, he didn't do either of those things. Jesus started to wash his friend's smelly feet. Why don't you have a look at your feet? Are they, are they dirty? Probably not. They're probably pretty clean, aren't they? But in those days, Jesus and his friends and everybody, they just used to wear sandals. They didn't wear shoes and socks. So their feet would get pretty dusty and dirty and they might even have some smelly animal poo on them. But that didn't matter to Jesus, even though he was God and was the king of kings. He got on his feet and he washed the poo and the dirt off of his friend's feet. It would be like the queen coming to wash our feet today. That would be quite strange, wouldn't it? Well, Jesus got on his hands and knees and he washed and he dried his friend's feet. And he did this because he loved them so much. He even washed and dried the feet of his friends that he knew were gonna let him down and lie to him. And he said to them all, do this for each other. Are you surprised that Jesus washed the feet of his friends? When he was doing that, he was acting like a servant, not like the king that he was. But sometimes God does things upside down. Jesus was, a being, was being a servant king. Isn't that amazing? Now let's do our actions for one last time today. Can you remember? We go, Jesus won. Let's do it one last time. Jesus won. Well done, Tots. You've done some really good listening today. Now we're going to hand you over to Ursula for our God is here time. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, Tots. Did you know that God is here, right here, right now? Do you remember some of the names of Jesus we learned about when opening our Advent calendar before Christmas? One of them was King of Kings. Jesus is more important than our Queen or any King or Queen anywhere in the world. Now, I heard a story that Prince Charles, the Queen's son, who will be our king one day, has someone to squeeze the toothpaste onto his toothbrush. 
Now you might have someone to squeeze the toothpaste onto your toothbrush because you're very little, but Prince Charles is big enough to be able to squeeze his own toothpaste onto his toothbrush, but he thinks it's too important to do it himself. Jesus is King of Kings, so he's more important than Prince Charles. And in today's story, we heard how Jesus did a job that would usually be done by a servant. He washed the disciples' feet. So the future King of England thinks he's too important to squeeze out his toothpaste. But the even more important King Jesus acts like a servant himself. That's part of the upside down world of our Father God. I'm going to pray and thank Jesus for being a servant king. Do you want to close your eyes? Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you left your throne in heaven to come to earth as a baby. We thank you that you chose not to be served, but to serve others. And you died for us so that we become friends with God. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the servant king. We love you lots and lots. Amen. Bye, Tot.